Hello, in this video, we will be presenting our final capstone project for the BYU MISM program. Our solution is called RodeoCo. My name is Haley Hollinger, and I'm here with my group members, Sam Hansen and Grace Fillmore. Here's our agenda for the presentation today. First, we'll talk about the problem and solution domain. Um, this will include background research, unique value, core user outcomes, and key components. Then we will move on to the prototype in iteration one, and then move on to iteration two, and end with our conclusion. So to give some background in this problem domain, youth rodeo events are popular in rural areas where typical sporting events are not available. In these rural areas, lots of kids and um, obviously families will participate in these events. Um, but we have found that producing rodeos requires a great deal of coordination, um, and there are really no great solutions on the market for managing these events quickly and easily. A lot of the information is collected by hand, and all of the processes are pretty manual, either done through Excel or, as I said, existing alternatives, which really don't fit all of the needs. Um, I have a personal connection to rodeo. I grew up in Lakeshore, Utah, which is a rural area in Utah County. Um, and both of my younger sisters compete in rodeo events. So I've seen firsthand how um, you know intense these competitions can be and also how difficult it is to actually manage them. Um, so that is why I have a personal you know connection to this problem and am passionate about solving it. So as I mentioned, the existing alternatives that currently are on the market are um, four of these options here. Um, as you can see from the chart, there are a lot of different features that um, we had identified um, throughout these existing alternatives and also had identified what we wanted to offer with our solution. So um, as you can see, there's a lot of different options and features, um, but our solution is the only one according to our industry contact and also our user testing that provides a clean and functional website that is easy to use um, for people who are familiar with rodeos and the terminology and also for people who are not familiar with it. Um, so our solution is RodeoCo. Um, it's a web platform that provides administrative capabilities for rodeo events, including separate portals for rodeo administrators and rodeo participants. Um, in the boxes here, you can see um, all of the, the features that we had planned for our solution to have, and the ones in bold include the ones that we were able to build um, in these two iterations. Um, we did have to scale our process down quite a bit, but you'll see later on that it didn't impact um, the end goal for the user. Um, for administrator activities, that includes managing events and event time score recording. And for a participant, it includes entering events and viewing personal event um, results. So the unique value that our solution offers are, um, the first one is eliminate or automate repetitive tasks. So rodeo producers with our solution no longer need to solicit and collect participant responses. Um, in the current version that our industry contact Peter was using, it included a PDF form that users would have to fill out and then return back to him. And then he would have to re-enter all of that personal information by hand. So we really wanted to focus on eliminating and automating those repetitive tasks that take a lot of time for users. The second piece of unique value is consolidating the process into one application. Um, for participants, they now have a consistent way to enter and view events um, in, in one application. They don't have to go searching around for the information for events. Um, this also means that um, event producers and the participants of rodeos will be able to view the schedule information and results without having to really coordinate with each other. They can just interact with the website um, directly. And then the third piece of unique value is ease of use and integration. So most users can navigate the site without any training or outside help. And then producers, um, no data will need to be transferred between apps and it can all be managed in one place. So here's just a quick view at how we've really simplified and consolidated the process for these um, users. The left side here shows the old process, which includes a lot of back and forth interactions and decisions made between users and participants. And then on the right hand side, you see our new solution, where obviously there's a lot less steps in the process and a lot of things have been automated for the users. Um, so I want to talk about our core user outcomes. Um, the first is improved efficiency for producers. The second is improved efficiency for participants. And the last is the ease of record keeping and information sharing. Um, with that, I'll talk about the core user needs and the core design choices that we 
that we um, implemented to meet those needs. Um, on the left-hand side, you see here the needs that the users have that we identified, which is to process hundreds of user entries um, very quickly. It is also for admin to be able to communicate with participants conveniently and in real time. Um, and then the last is a low learning curve for new users. So considering those needs, these design choices that we came up with, um, we knew that we needed to automate the most tedious tasks um, and still give control over to the admin where necessary. Um, the second was real-time data visibility for changes made on either side. That makes it easy, obviously, for participants and producers to make changes without heavily affecting the other. Um, and then the last core design choices was to minimize complexity. We really wanted to limit uh, the functionality to the most important features so that we didn't have extra things taking up time and space in the user's, um, in the user's screen. So um, this page here shows just some screenshots of our very first um, design iteration, which is our prototype that we made in Figma. As you can see here, um, it was you know, a very rough version, but we did have all of the core elements that we had talked about. Um, integrated design, ease of use, and then obviously easy access to information, as you can see here with the participant times and entries. All right, now we're going to talk to you a little bit about how, from our user needs and outcomes that we identi identified, how this became a reality, and also how we measured our progress and that we were really hitting those goals that we had set for this application. So, first, um, our first iteration was, you know, the first real app we that we built and deployed. Um, you can see here a few screenshots from there. This was a good starting point and a good measuring stick for us to see um, with some user testing how the users received it, how well um, they went with it, and um, where we can improve and what the most important things would be for our following iteration. As you could see with those screenshots, it was a very rough first prototype, and there were some major features missing, as you can see listed there. All in all, it was largely just some UI scaffolding, turning our prototype in Figma into something that was a real living, breathing app, but there was still a lot of work to be done. So the way that we sort of measured how we were doing was using Loop 11. We recruited some users, both Rodeo savvy users and also people that don't know anything about rodeos or how to run them. And we got them to download the Loop 11 Chrome extension and go ahead and um, go through these rodeo tasks. They didn't have any context prior to doing these tests. And then we were able to segment those users and measure data from them. We got some qualitative and quantitative data to sort of measure how we were hitting our goals. Here's a summary of some of the data we collected. Um, so we could see we can see here on these numbers um, on the far right in this table, people agreeing from one to five on how understandable it is, how easy to locate the road information was, and how easy to locate event information was. We did well in some of these, and in some of these we definitely had some improvements to be made. Um, for some of our qualitative feedback, we've got some great quotes here. Seems easier to use than the alternative and concept, but not polished enough. Slow load times. Forms need better validation. Feedback. Aesthetics displeasing. Too much manual entry and needs still to sorting, sorting slash filtering for events and rodeos. So we're very grateful to get some great, honest feedback. Um, we knew that there was a lot of improvements to be made, some bugs to be fixed, some features to implement. We knew that before we even... Um, started testing that that was going to be the case but it was great to get that validated and put in writing so we could know what we needed to work on and how to prioritize the following sprints that we were going to be doing so based on the feedback we gathered and that data we planned a few new features and we planned some improvements so some of the new features that was very important to finish and do was having authentication and accounts within those accounts we want to have different types we want to have part participants and also producers so that those that are administrating can have their sort of portal and view of people applying and then those that want to apply to rodeos can have an easy um, system to do so. Um, also navigation breadcrumbs was an important thing just to help 
illustrate the information architecture better. Some of the improvements that we planned were error handling for common issues, app and Rodeo dash dashboard layouts, and also a lot of UI improvement to help make the experience make more sense to our users. Finally, we knew that we needed to upgrade the styling to make everything prettier and nicer to use and overall just more professional. So our final iteration, which you'll hopefully agree with us and our users, uh, is more complete and attractive than our first prototype um, is shown here in screenshots. But I think we're going to do a video demo so that you can see that um, the primary functionality. So logging in as an administrator can view the Rodeo dashboard with all your existing Rodeos. Uh, select and edit Rodeo information. And find more details about planned events for that Rodeo. Entries that have been made by participants into specific events. And create a new Rodeo that will be immediately made available to participants. Although in the future, we will probably want to gatekeep that a little more um, so that administrators have more control over when a rodeo is visible. And adding a new event to actually receive entries. And now Haley's logging in as a participant. The participant fits in that age range. So they're gonna enter it, only have to enter event specific information. All the other static personal information has been stored. And now that entry is visible. And Moving on to some screenshots that emphasize our core requirements. Obviously, you can create and edit events um, and manage those details as needed. And all participants and administrators receive live updates. So admin administrators immediately see changes that participants make to their entries. Participants can immediately find rodeos and events that have been made available. Um, overall, it's just a lot of email and posters and calls to front offices that have been cut out. And we wanted to call out some of our smaller design choices that basically anytime a new staff member it joins a rodeo, um, anytime that they have to spend learning the product is um, you know, business owner time spent on something that it doesn't need to be. So we wanted to signal everything, every capability um, and every state change to the user so that they could never get lost. And we think that we've succeeded. We've pulled a representative sample that kind of shows that this user was able to find, to complete the information finding task without any trouble. And he had to use control F. So that's a search bar is in our planned improvements. But there he goes, knowing what's happening. Our testing procedure for this iteration was very similar to for our first iteration. Um, we used loop 11 again. We did not give users any context on the application or on rodeos. Um, the main difference is that they were asked to complete much more 
Uh, the test covered all of the primary tasks involved in participant and admin um, application. So they answered questions about their experience and Rodeo Savvy users also kind of benchmarked this with their um, past experiences. We originally segmented them by whether they had experience with rodeos, but no significant difference was found on any shared measure. So we just are showing them all together here. Where we were originally deficient in our iteration one, we found some significant improvement. Um, anything that was either kind of neutral or hard to figure out, we got up to that it was easy to figure out. So that's great. Our qualitative feedback was much more positive. Um, everything organized clearly, self-explanatory. Um, whereas before there were many, many, many call outs of small and big issues with the product. Um, and here are our measures of agreement with, you know, kind of comparing with the alternatives. Um, we also have some more information on that. Our industry contact, Peter Scott, who owns a rodeo club in Utah, um, was, we actually were a little surprised by how happy he was with the completeness of the product because we did have to drop features for scope reasons. Um, but basically, with how many staff changes he normally has and with the requirements of all the manual data entry, the product as is completely eliminates all of that work. Um, he can see it being the case that any new staff that come in, he's not going to have to spend time babysitting them on the flow because there are not confusing features that don't need to be used and everything else is pretty self-explanatory. So despite the fact that we did have to drop some major features that we had planned, this still solves 80 to 90% of his problem. Uh, that being said, we do have a lot of feedback kind of guiding what's the most important next features. Um, and one of those is to track payment status in lieu of an integrated payment processor that we had planned or proposed. Um, and then quality of life things like filtering and sorting and giving participants more control over their information. Um, future features that would be kind of bigger undertakings, but that would definitely make it a more comprehensive product would be an integrated payment processor and waiver management as part of the entry process. Um, subscriptions and email updates for changes that are made to existing events and season rankings and trend data by different metrics, you know, visible to admins and participants according to their permissions. What we discovered is that ease of use is more important than feature availability. Um, despite the fact that we felt our product was incomplete, we discovered from industry feedback that it in fact meets the needs well. Um, and in fact, saves time because there's not something accommodating a need that isn't actually needed um, and instead is just a time suck. And additionally, that automatic payment processing would be a, a big value add, and that is why we had originally planned it. But at the same time, it's a very traditional industry, and so many users are going to continue to want to pay in cash or go to another rodeo. So because you're always going to have to have some man manual payment tracking, it's not such a bad thing to have it all be manual for a while. So we want to thank Peter for everything that he did for us. Um, his insight was invaluable, and we really appreciate the time that he took. We are happy with the product we've created. We think it's, um, you know, how for how complete it is, it's really useful. And thank you for taking the time to learn more about it.